problem that we unfortunately see over and over again. Families, kids, adults not having enough food to eat. But fortunately, so many people in our community are working to fix all that. Here's News Channel 9's Lauren St. Germain with this week's Pay It Forward. Gerald is a volunteer who coordinates volunteers. Peggy says it would take five people to do all the jobs he does. He donates his time, all with a smile and a lot of laughs. <laughs> Gerald Lawson makes it happen. Peggy says Gerald Lawson has been the director, sometimes working 60 hours a week, of the Hamilton County Baptist Care Center. He uh, takes care of everything. For more than eight years. It would take four or five other people to run, <laughs> to run it. Organizing volunteers, keeping records, and making sure the food bank is full. This ministry, in connection with United Way 211, helps feed people in Hamilton County. They give out boxes of food from the Chattanooga Food Bank and local food stores. Last year, this center fed more than 10,000 people. Are you ready to go pay it forward to Gerald $500? I sure am. All right, here we go. Let's go. Could you come out for a minute? Uh, can I come in here? No. <laughs> Gerald Lawson? Yes. On behalf of the McMahon Law Firm, News Channel 9 Pay It Forward has $500 for you. <laughs> but Gerald quickly gives all the credit away. The volunteers here are the backbone of this ministry, it's not me. He then shows us how the ministry works. Well, let's start at the beginning. The clients call United Way 211 and get a code number. That's so volunteers know how much food to pack. We have a lot of ones. We have them goes up to families of eight. They load the boxes with all kinds of food. There's some burritos right there. Veggies, rice, oatmeal, even a few treats. You can't live on good food all the time. Gotta have a little junk food. Peggy and the rest of the volunteers say it's Gerald's high spirits. I can't reach that light switch, so <laughs> I got a hockey stick. Organization <laughs> and faith that keeps the ministry going. We run short on food sometimes, and I get panic stricken. Why, I don't know, but I always do. And usually within a day or two, somebody will knock on the door and have a whole pickup truck load of food. For Pay It Forward, Lauren St. Germain, News Channel 9. <laughs> What a great spirit that man has, and he even has a hockey stick to turn mm -hmm. the lights on. So he's always thinking. And if you know someone like Gerald or an unsung hero, nominate them for our Pay It Forward surprise. It's really easy. Just go to the Pay It Forward tab at newschannel9.com and fill out the nomination form that you find there. We are lucky to have people yes, like him are. in our community. Yes, we are. Let's go and take a look at the uh, forecast for tomorrow Valentine's Day. Temperatures mid 30s, early mid 50s by the afternoon. A lot of cloud cover around. It wouldn't surprise me to see a little light rain north during the afternoon. Not too much. The better chance arrives later tomorrow night through at least the first half of Wednesday. Now beyond Wednesday, it looks nice. A bit cool both Wednesday and Thursday, but 60s are back starting Friday and through the weekend. It looks wonderful, David. Thanks so much. And that's all the time we have for News Channel 9 at 6. But remember, our news continues. NewsChannel9.com. We'll have all the latest news, weather, and sports coming up tonight at 10 and 11. Until then, we hope you have a great night.